Hello. Welcome to EasyVB. Tutorial 3. In Tutorial 1, we created an application to drag an object. In Tutorial 2, we modified that to drag multiple objects. In this tutorial we will modify the code of Tutorial 2 such that we can handle multiple objects with a single event sub. We will delete a lot of the existing code making the code more efficient. This process is sometimes referred to as code optimization, but in truth, in this case, we are just correcting badly written code as a learning exercise to demonstrate how we can handle the event of many objects with a very few lines of code. From this example it should become apparent how powerful Visual Basic and other object-oriented languages can be. Okay, let's look at the Tutorial 2 application and code. We have now increased the number of picture box objects from 3 to 6, and we have written a mouse move event sub for each of the objects. Let's run the application again to check it works ok for all 6 objects. Yes. We can see it works fine for all of the objects. So now close the application and look at the code. Look at all this code. It's getting long with all these mouse move event subs. But we don't really need all this code. We can optimize it. First let's delete all of the mouse move subs except for the first one we wrote which was for PB Blue. Now look at the name of the sub after the text, private sub. The name is, PB Blue, underbar, mouse move. This name is the default name generated and given by Visual Basic when we created the mouse move event for PB Blue. But the name here is not important, it could be any name at all. What is important is the name after handles. That is the name of the object being handled by the event. Again it is called PB Blue. Let's go back to the sub name and change PB Blue to all objects, because we are planning to handle all of the objects in this one mouse move sub. In fact we don't need to change the sub name, but it is a good practice as it becomes clearer when reading the code that this sub is not just handling PB Blue. Now we will define a new variable. In the code we will define it just after the first line public class form 1. We write, dim, event object, as object. Dim, is a variable declaration. Event object, is the name we have given the variable. It could be any name, event thing, object thing, my way, whatever you want really, but it is best to pick a name you will recognize and is meaningful to the purpose of the code. The text, as object defines the type of data the variable has, i.e., the variable is an object. We could also be more specific and define the data type, as picture box, since we are planning to handle only picture boxes with the mouse move event, but we will leave it as object for now. A picture box is a type of object, so data type, as object, will be acceptable. When we declare the variable with the dim statement outside of the sub like this, it becomes a public variable which can be used by any subroutine in the application. If, on the other hand, we declared the variable with a dim statement inside of the mouse move event sub, it would be a local and private variable that could only be used within that sub. No other sub could call the variable. Okay, now we will go to the mouse move sub which we renamed all objects. Go to the end of the line and after PB blue, type the names of the other picture box objects, comma, PB red, comma, PB green, comma, PB yellow, comma, PB orange, comma, PB purple. Now write another line of code after this. Event object equals sender. Event object is the name of the variable we declared with the dim statement. But what is sender? Well, let's look at the mouse move subtext. We can see that sender is stated there. So the sender is in fact the object sending for, or calling, the event. To explain further, it is a mouse move event so when the mouse moves over an object such as PB Blue then PB Blue is the sender. 
Similarly if the mouse moves over PB yellow then PB yellow is the sender. Then our variable event object gets the value of whatever sender called the event. In this way, if the sender were PB yellow, the code will know it is going to execute the sub for that object, i.e. move that specific object. Okay, there is one more area of code we need to edit. Change the text PB blue now to event object. This will ensure the mouse move event moves the sending object and not just PB blue. Run the application. Does it work? Yes, we can see that it works very well, exactly as previously, but with a whole lot less code to write, edit and manage. Compare the code before and after optimization. The change is really significant. If we had 100 objects we would have hundreds of lines of code. In fact we can achieve the same action in the application with just a very few lines. We hope that was not too confusing. If it is not clear you can watch this and earlier tutorials again. However, don't worry, you will soon pick it up with more practice in writing visual basic code. In the next tutorial we will look at how to code for left or right mouse clicks. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial was useful. If it helped you, please like share, and subscribe.